Hey, welcome to Boris Little Carpentry. So today I'm doing something a little different. As I've been doing in the last couple videos, we are stuck at home due to the quarantine of the coronavirus. And so um, working on all these little projects at my house. And so one of the projects I've been wanting to do is to really deep clean my shower. And I've had a bunch of cleaning products over the years. I try to use products that are non-toxic and sometimes they just don't work that great. So every once in a while I'll go out and buy something that I think is really gonna get down deep into everything. And nothing ever really blows me away. But today, I just happened to use a new product that I've never used. And it's just Clorox Bathroom Bleach Foamer Original. Kills 99.9% .9 of germs. Says you can do it on tubs, tile, toilets, sinks, counters, everything. And uh, it's got actual bleach in it, I guess. Must have. Um, so I started just cleaning the shower. This stuff works amazing. So I figured I would just show you how well it works and how easy it is and the tool that I normally use. Because um, I installed this shower myself with all the tile and Ever since, it's just been a pain in the butt to keep it clean for the last few years. So I'm really excited to get it really clean again. So just so you can get an idea of what I'm talking about, this is clear glass. You cannot even see into the shower right now, okay? I just cleaned this glass panel with that stuff. And I mean, you, you can not even tell there's glass there other than the fact that it's wet. It's blowing my mind. Mind you, I just cleaned this shower door within the last one to two weeks and scrubbed like crazy and could not get it clean for the life of me. So this happens to be the product I used last time that I was not too um, impressed with. Uh, when I first started using it, I was like, oh yeah, it's really healthy and good for you. And um, I've always wanted to try these products, but it just didn't work to get the soap scum off. So if you can tell, it's just got this like haze on it and I just have never been able to get it off. And again, you come under the one I just cleaned and it's super clean. Actually, those are those water spots you're seeing are on the outside of the glass because I normally keep a towel here so the outside uh, has some water spots on it. You can see, but I'm gonna clean that later. All right, so I'm just gonna spray it on this is already a little wet because I was just working in here. I don't know if you can even hear me, but so I'm going to do one half first so we can really see. And I've just got a uh, scrubber brusher thing. And when I'm scrubbing it, I can hear that it's dirty. And as I scrub, I'm not twitching hard at all. It is just like coming right off. I mean, from in here, I can see a straight line right down there. I don't know if you can see it from out there. Oh yeah, you can see it from out here. Yeah, it's amazing. Totally. You can see the tile lines on the one side and not on the other. It's amazing. I'm just gonna finish this side. <laughs> Crazy. I can't believe how clean that is. Yeah, that's a huge difference. <clears throat> I'm still gonna have to clean the outside, but I mean the inside is like spotless now. And that was not hard to do. 
I can still see a little bit of uh, etching on there, so I'll probably do it a second time. I'll let this kind of settle down, and then next time I take a shower, I'll clean it again. But look at this last wall. <laughs> Yeah. I really can't believe how easy that was and how good it came out. So, like I said, I'm going to let this sit and let it dry and see how it looks and I'll probably clean it one more time just because, like I said, it's, I've had such a hard time keeping it clean. And, um, you know, when I do bathrooms a lot, people don't want glass doors because this is a problem. So, I've always wanted to have some information to be able to tell people how to take care of the stuff that I put in. And so far as of this second, I would say this product works really good. Um, so I'll give it two thumbs up. All right. I did clean the shower walls yesterday, so I'm not going to worry about those right now. Um, they're not too bad. So maybe next time these get pretty gross, I'll try to clean it again. All right. So I just wanted to throw something in there real quick. There is bleach in this, so you want to be very careful. You do not want to get this in your eyes, or if you're using it, you don't want to get it on your clothing. It'll stain your clothing. Also, prolonged, uh, you, if it's on your skin for a long period of time, basically, it might irritate your skin. Um, I mean, I'm doing it in the shower, so I'm able to rinse it right off, right after I'm using it. I'm not really getting it on me either. Um, but you want to take precautions with that, but also the vapors especially in contained in the shower I noticed very quickly the vapors were getting to me so you don't want to do this for a long period of time on a daily basis use this kind of stuff but uh, you know do it quickly I mean like I'm doing half the shower and then I'm gonna do the rest of the half another day so I'm not doing that I'll turn the bathroom fans running and maybe even open a window I don't know so anyway I just want everybody to be safe so um, I guess that's it. So thanks for watching, and if you like what you saw, subscribe. I know it's not exactly carpentry related, but well, it kind of is because I installed this shower. So, I mean, this is like uh, maintenance of the stuff that I put in. So uh, I would say this is carpentry related. So that's it. Have a great day.